and I wanted to add one more coat of black just to make sure it was all nice and you know black which it was already and I f***ed up two panels pretty badly I don't even know what got on them or whatever but the paint just started to like anyway What's up guys and gals, welcome back. Um, watch the spoiler, uh, see? Um, <laughs> uh, so today we're gonna finish this truck interior. Um, I'm gonna start spraying it now. Um, the actual color I ordered is not here yet from Amazon, but should be here anytime today. So we're gonna go ahead and start on it now and get it black. It said it works best on a black base. So um, I cleaned it all up, took it all apart last night. I'll show you those pieces now and uh, yeah, we'll get into it. Okay, so I removed everything from the dash trim panels last night um, there's four or five screws on the edge one and there was quite a few on this one here um, I went ahead and taped up the door trim um, I didn't think it would be something you guys would be interested in watching me do just tape something so just went real careful around the edges um, got it all nice and sealed off um, I removed the chrome vents as well I decided to do this about halfway through last night you will break these pulling them out um, because they take these little fellas and they run through the dash uh, panel and then they heat it on the other side and so it's melted on there so I took a flathead and I popped off the tabs um, so we'll have to glue those back in uh, maybe heat it a little bit who knows but yeah had to get them out because I don't like the chrome so do what you gotta do <laughs> I think I want to spray these chrome rings first um, they're the most annoying because they're chrome so um, let's clean them up and get them sprayed <laughs> Well, those turned out better than expected. Um, those are awesome. So, uh, what to do next? Um, I kind of want to do the window trim panel. So, let's clean those and do that. Those are turning out super sick also. This is going really smoothly. Um, but uh, what? Oh, <laughs> I forgot my glove and I was holding a piece and yeah, whatever. Um, let's spray the dash panels now, get those cleaned up and yeah. Okay, so we had our first issue. I'm getting a lot of fish eyeing on the center console piece that went around the shifter. Um, I'm gonna have to sand that off real quick and then we'll start over. But uh, yeah, I knew it was going too smooth, but it's small, we'll fix it, no big deal. Moments later. Oh man, this stuff looks so good. Um, it's like piano black. Um, I'll show you some shots now and then we'll hop back. Ha! <laughs> 
All right, so yeah, now that all the trim is done, uh, I have two options. Amazon's not here yet, so um, I can dick around on the 110, or I can get in the truck and take out some more pieces. Um, they both sound very appealing, so what to do, what to do. <laughs> it sounded like I heard you guys say both, so I'm gonna do both. <laughs> all right. What can I remove from here? I would love to take this piece out. Um, so I'll take that piece out. Um, I could drop the glove box and spray the keyhole. That's chrome, I don't like that. Um, I gotta do something about this logo here. Ooh, I know what I'll do, I'll take off these. Let me pop the hood and disconnect the battery so that way the airbag doesn't do anything weird and I'm gonna unplug this and take this off and paint that. Hmm. I don't know if it'll show up on camera or not, but this piece was chrome as well, and I wrapped it in the uh, glossy version of the psychedelic stuff I did the Evo interior with, and I love that. This piece was a pain in the ass, though. Um, so tight and a lot of turns, but got it. I'm keeping it that way. <laughs> I did it on the shift knob, too. Ooh, I could take this piece off and wrap that in the glossy stuff. And just like that, they're out. Um, I'm always super nervous doing anything with the airbag, but the battery's unhooked, but still, I get nervous about it. But um, these things have three screws on the back of them, so I'm gonna remove the switches and get it to where it is just this panel. And then I'm gonna spray it. Okay, so Amazon came, so that's awesome. Now we can actually spray the stuff with the actual color. Um, I am a dumbass and can't leave well enough alone, and I wanted to add one more coat of black just to make sure it was all nice and, you know, black, which it was already, and I f***ed up two panels pretty badly. I don't even know what got on them or whatever, but the paint just started to, like, Anyway. One eternity later. All right guys, as you can tell, um, several days have passed. <laughs> um, I've spent the last two days sanding off everything and starting from scratch pretty much. We're smooth sailing now, but it has been an ordeal. Let me explain what happened. All right, so I can only assume that my impatience is what bit me in the ass ultimately. Um, I was trying to do it all in one day. It's a lot of work to do in a day. It's a lot of paint going on. The um, dry times are not near what they should have been. And so once I got towards the end, there was so much paint on there that it was just not dry down below. And once I sprayed it on, um, it's gonna cause a reaction at some point in time, and it did. Uh, the paint just shrinks up, and it's ruined at that point pretty much. You gotta start over. So I spent two days sanding it all off and respraying um, and getting it, I took my time did light coats, let it dry for a while, <laughs> and um, it's great now. Looks awesome. Uh, we're to the point now to where all I have to do pretty much is put the clear coat on. I have to spray the color stuff on a couple more pieces, but we're pretty much done now. So um, let's get this clear coat on and finish this project and see how it looks. I can show you the steering wheel pieces. Um, those worked out great first go. I sprayed like one, two coats of that on there of the black and then sprayed the color on there and they turned out awesome first first run. So I'll show you those now and then we'll get the other pieces.
If you are interested, uh, this panel here pops off the bottom of the steering column and you can get to that bolt right there and it's the same on both sides and that will release the center airbag here. Okay, um, time has come to spray a freshly coated black uh, piece with the color. So cross your fingers, do what you gotta do, but here we go. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta pause. I get, I'm so nervous to spray this piece. <laughs> Uh, okay, here we go. I have never been this nervous to paint something, but I just sprayed the last piece of the dash, the first little dusting coat, and there was no reaction. So I am feeling very positive. So I'm gonna wait, let that dry. And then we're going to do another couple little dusting coats and we should be good. We should be done and this project can be finished. <laughs> Holy crap, I just put in the last piece. It looks so good. Check it out. All right, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. I know this was a long uh, error-filled episode. <laughs> um, leave a comment down below if you think it's worth it. I sure do. Um, it looks awesome in there. I'm so excited on how it looks, um, exactly how I had it in my mind. So um, if you want to use any of the paint I had in this video, I will link it down below. Um, I will say the color shift can is a little expensive for spray paint, but um, yeah, I'll link it down there so you can grab it if you want it. Um, like and subscribe if you want to as well. That helps out a ton. And I will see you in the next one. If you like the truck content, there'll be more here. If you like the Evo content, it'll be here. And uh, yeah, till then, bye.